Welcome to another edition of Feel This Pain. I'm Ken McKim, and tonight we're talking about Complex Regional Pain Syndrome, or CRPS for short. It's also known as RSD, and was first believed to be observed during the American Civil War. And at that time, they dubbed it causalgia, from the Greek words for fire and pain, which is a fairly apt descriptor of this particular disease. They didn't know what caused it then, and they still don't know what causes it now. Lots of theories, no real agreement. So what exactly are we talking about? Well, everyone has an autonomic nervous system whose job it is to tell your brain when you've been injured and to take steps to uh, protect the injured part of you. So for example, you sprain your wrist, the autonomic nervous system tells your brain that you're in pain and it inflames the area to protect it from further injury while it heals. Well, people with CRPS do not heal normally. They do not heal quickly. They have a problem with their AMS. And so it'll continue to send that I'm in pain signal to the brain long after it should have stopped doing that. And it will also continue to swell and inflame the injured area. Now, if you have a sprained wrist, you, you know how stiff it can get and how much it just hurts because it's swollen. Imagine that never going away. And that inflammation itself will start to have bad side effects on your tissues, you know, the uh, flow of blood supply to the affected area, even bone density after a while. So insult to injury, the pain that you feel when this happens to you can spread to other parts of your body that weren't even injured. So you sprain this wrist and then you can start feeling the horrible oversensitivity and the, the pain and the grinding and the and the, the fire here or here or even here. There's no rhyme or reason to how this spreads throughout your body but it can and does spread to other areas. What kind of pain are we talking about? Well, people with CRPS have described it as feeling like burning, like grinding, if your bones are grinding together, a, a pulsating uh, kind of pain, shooting, stabbing even. Over and over though, they tend to prefer the burning metaphor, but not, as you might expect, burning by fire, but burning by ice. It's a cold fire, and if you've ever had frostbite, you might be able to relate to what we're talking about. Oh wait, you, you've never had frostbite? Oh, well allow me to present you with a very graphic picture of someone who has very bad frostbite to kind of get you in the right frame of mind for how this feels. Here it is. So yes, you look at that and maybe you're starting to get more of a sense of the kind of pain that I'm trying to tell you about here. But again, pictures can fail to convey exactly what I'm trying to get at. So here's a fun little experiment that you can do in the privacy of your own home. Ready? Here we go. Get a glass bowl, fill it full of water, fill it full of ice water, okay? Take your hand, stick it in the bowl, and keep it there for at least 60 seconds. No more, no less. Do not cheat. Don't you dare lift your hand out of that bowl before the 60 seconds are up. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot. You're going to be amazed at how bad it hurts. But you get to pull your hand out of the ice bath. People with CRPS never do. They get to feel that for the rest of their lives. You see, there are treatments available, but they're almost universally useless unless you were diagnosed with this disorder within the first three months of the onset of symptoms. And that almost never happens because there is no one test that will say, hey, you've got CRPS. No. You have to rule out so many other things before you ever get to that diagnosis. Imagine that feeling, that pain you felt in your hand from sticking it in that ice bath all over your body, and it's never going away. Suicide is not uncommon for people with this disease. 
because it never gets better. In closing, there's a pain scale, I believe it's called the McGill Pain Scale, that rates all kinds of chronic and acute pain from childbirth to Crohn's to fibromyalgia to even cancer. This particular disease scores higher on that scale than cancer, childbirth, and the amputation of a limb. More painful than all of those. That's what this is. That's what they deal with every day. They need your compassion. I hope you'll find it in your heart to give it to them. And I hope you will join me again next week because that's all the time we have for tonight. As always, if you have any questions at all, please send them to me, Ken, at don'tpunishpain.com. You can also follow me over on Twitter, at Don't Punish Pain. If you'd like to learn more about society's changing attitudes towards the chronically ill, then I invite you to watch my first video, The Slow Death of Compassion for the Chronically Ill, which you can also see right here on my YouTube channel. So that's it. Thank you for joining me. And once again, I'm Ken McKim. You take care.